Hey everyone, Nimi is here to show you guys how easy it is to stream with Restream on OBS. This is how I stream every day, and I've been with Restream since June 2017. <laughs> it's really been that long. Now, I bet you guys know what Restream does, such as allowing you to stream to many different platforms at once, while also providing awesome analytics. There's more, but I want to keep this tutorial under 5 minutes. Full disclosure, I've been sponsored by Restream to do this video, but as this is how I typically stream anyways, and something that you guys ask a lot about, I'm very happy to do it. Okay, with that out of the way, let's start by registering. First things first, go to the description and pull up that link. This allows you to get onto Restream. And on Restream, you should be met with this page. Simply input your username, email, and password and sign up for free. As I've already been with Restream, I don't need to do such a thing. Once you're in, you're met with your destinations. As you can see, I'm with Twitch, Mixer, soon to be dead Mixer, but Mixer, Facebook, Smashcast, YouTube Stream Now. Uh, I would suggest you guys at least stream on YouTube and Facebook, if not Twitch as well, but those are the biggest platforms. And to show you guys how easy it is, I'm going to remove some of these and I'm going to re-add them to show you guys how easy it is to connect your platforms together. Okay, this goes Facebook and this goes YouTube. Now, pretend they were never there to begin with. Okay, let's start off by adding Facebook. So I press add channel and then I go groups and public pages. Now you can stream on Facebook, whether with your personal account or a brand account. I would suggest a brand account unless you want all your friends to see you stream. <laughs> I mean, that's fine if you do, but for me, not so much. Now, it is a bit weird that they give you your personal profile, but you have your option of making a brand account. And so for me, I'm at my personal profile and my Nimius Plays page. So I'm going to go to the Nimius Plays page and I can press save. And that's it. Now I am officially on Facebook streaming. It's pretty easy. Now to add YouTube. And now Restream wants to access your Google account, I would say allow, and that's it. Now you're officially on Facebook and YouTube Stream now. Of course, you can add other platforms if you so desire and can add as many as you like. But the big ones, of course, are now Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube, given Mixer is going to be gone pretty soon. Probably shouldn't say that because that's going to make this video dated, huh? <laughs> Next, you can change all the titles for all the streams all at once, thanks to update titles. Whatever you want to call your stream, it's up to you. Personally, I always like to leave the game's name at the end of everything. The reason for that is to help with SEO. Okay, let's change the name. And since this is gonna be a test stream and I will show you guys how it is to go online even though this is gonna be weird for my viewers, I'm gonna just call it test stream. Come chat and chill. Probably, I'll just write something, gotcha games. We'll see like, what I actually do. And then you press update all. And then boom, you're done. Everything is now set to that new title. Of course, you can do more than that, such as change the game, which you should. This will help people find you. And the category I will pick is, I guess, Languister. Most likely where I actually start the stream is going to be Languister. You know what, let's go back to Fire Emblem Heroes. And that's it. You don't really need to change anything for everything. It's optional whether to enter the game or not. I would say you want to though because you want to show up in said game. Fire Emblem Heroes, there you go. And additionally, you can also write a description if you so desire. So for me personally, <laughs> I was, I had a <laughs> sponsorship with Ray Shalogens and that's what I still have as my description with YouTube. Uh, <laughs> well, this isn't for raids, so I'm not gonna shout them out or anything, but you can change anything you would like and it's up to you. But again, same thing for Facebook and yeah. Once you're done there, let's get onto OBS and I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to connect OBS to Restream and then stream. Okay. I know this looks a bit weird, but I want to show you guys how to connect your Restream account to your OBS, and then after that, you're ready to go to stream. You can also tweak with some settings and whatnot if you like, and there are a bunch of tutorials on the internet, so I'm not going to get into that, but I just want to show you guys how easy it is at this point. So I go to settings, I go to stream, I select Restream. It should be there by default. Now FTL is for Mixer, so there's no need for it anymore, because Mixer is going to be gone soon. So just press RTMP. Now connect your account. You can also do this via your stream key, but I honestly think connecting your account is just much more easier. So enter the information you did on Restream in here. It's gonna ask whether to allow them to authorize access or not. Of course, allow. And that's it, you're done. You don't really have to do anything else. I always set it as auto detect because it'll always pick out the best location for me. Now, you could also just select closest location to you at all times, and that also helps, but personally, I just drop it on auto detect. After that, apply. Boom. Your chat has shown up. 
your your stream channels has shown up, which ones are accessible. You can play around with where you want to put everything. You can change your title here as well. This is all up to you. So personally, you know, if you want to do it here, you can do it here. You can, if you want to do it on a website, you can do it on a website. But after all that, all you have to do at this point is press start streaming. Okay, now this isn't a full tutorial, so I won't show you guys absolutely everything. But I will show you guys how to add a game, for example. Simply go to, say, I select Languister. Okay. And now it's up. Once the game loads in, I'll show you guys how easy it is to make it show up. All right, now I have loaded in Languister. It's right here. All I have to do to add it in is go to Game Capture. Let's call it Languister Mobile. And then I'm going to do Capture Specific Window. You could use any foreground window, but I don't suggest it because you don't know what you're really capturing. Make it specific. For me, I'm going to press Languister. Press OK. Now, and now it's up and you can do whatever you want in the game itself. Of course, you can do more things if you want, such as put in your chat. You can put in an overlay. You could put in a little mascot. You can even do who last followed you, who last shared you, who last subscribed. Everything goes on and on and on and on. There are so many options as to what you can do to customize your stream to make it your own, but you guys can find that all online. But the basics of it is really that simple. So once again, this was Nimius. I hope you guys enjoyed and I forgot to go online. So let's try it out. All right, I'm going to go to my going live screen. This is where I usually wait before the stream starts. It's a good idea to make one of these to let people wait and join the stream before it actually fully starts. Put on some nice music. In this case, it's Marcus D Retro 2 Lightning's Theme Remix. And then you can simply just press start streaming and you're actually just done. <laughs> it's really that easy to stream. So let's give it a try and let's press it. Later. And that's it, we're online. Hey guys, did you know you're on stream right now? Yeah, hi, I'm just finishing <laughs> showing how I stream on with Restream on OBS. How are you guys doing? Actual stream isn't actually now, so just say hi if you want to be in the video. Don't say anything if you don't. But yeah, I just wanted to show them it's that easy. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, I press offline and I let these guys show up for a bit in the video. Everyone's so happy to be in a video, huh? All right. But yeah, that is how easy to stream with Restream on OBS. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, follow. Once again, if you want to try this out, simply go to my description box and there is a Restream link. Press it, go online. That's all you got to do. Have fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye.